Good afternoon, folks. Um, I figured I'd do a quick tutorial on something, uh, especially for a few of the uh, unsure in, you know, soap making and, and cosmetic making. Um, just going to try to make this as brief as possible, even if it means a lot of uh, time lapsing of the actual video content during editing, just to make things go faster. Um, today I am just going to show you how to lower the pH of your liquid soap. Um, I'm not going to be using citric acid or borax or anything like that. What I'm going to be using is what is called a medium chain triglyceride, or MCT. It's a fatty acid. This is primarily lauric acid, and I'm sorry if this is in reverse. Um, kind of using a different device right now to record, but I'm using lauric acid to lower the pH of my soap for you all today. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, rather than uh, using the citric acid or boric acid or any other type of uh, acid like that, which would essentially swap places with the fatty acid in the soap. Uh, I guess double back and describe how this would work. Uh, if you use a typically citric acid, um, the typical common knowledge is using the citric acid causes soap to turn it to goop because it releases the fatty acids and therefore the citric acid will bond with the hydroxide, be it the potassium hydroxide or the sodium hydroxide. So it would leave you in liquid soap with potassium citrate. It will lower the pH, but it won't be soap. We can all agree on that one. Um, something I came up with a while back, it was just this brainstorm. Um, why not try fatty acid, like stearic or lauric acid? They're fatty acid, so if they're going to do anything they're going to lower the pH of the soap because they are an acid. Granted, yes, it is a fatty acid. It is more fatty than an acid. It's still an acid. Therefore, it's a weak acid compared to citric acid, which is, of course, also a weak acid. Unbabbling, getting on with the chemistry, craziness, but that's how those work. Um, the fatty acid in this process will, if it does swap places with the fatty acids used to make the soap, you're still swapping fatty acids. Soap makes soap, or fatty acids still make soap when it's combined with the hydroxide that's in the formula. Uh, so regardless of whether it's steric or lauric, if it swaps places with the other lauric acids in your soap, or the oleic, or the myristic, or whatever the fatty acids are that comprise your oils that make your soap, it's still fatty acid with fatty acid. You're still going to have soap. So the main goal is to see if this will lower the pH of the soap. Uh, I've done this before, and it was a little bit on the sloppy side uh, because it was in combination with a citric acid, and some people were still kind of confused. But, so I'm going to go ahead and just do this straight up by itself, clarify some issues, and let you all see that it, it is actually a pretty cool thing to do. And... I enjoy it. It works better on my hair and my skin. I don't itch. I love it. My kids like it. My kids don't complain. Um, not that they're allowed to, but anyways. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is, uh, the reason why I chose the uh, lauric acid is because uh, of the nature of the lauric acid. It is more water soluble than steric acid. It has a shorter carbon chain attached to it so that it will dissolve in water better. Again, it's more of the complex chemistry of the fatty acids. I understand some people won't understand that aspect of it, but I, I do have well thought out and researched reasons on why I'm choosing the lauric acid. In the end, it'll probably help me use a solubilizer later on should I choose to want to make the super fatted pH neutral acidified soap, uh, a completely clear solution um, like I have here. Uh, this is uh, actually the glycerin method soap. 
the dual lie glacier method soap I uh, demonstrated in a previous video. Uh, in that video, I had made four different batches of soap using various methods of soap making that I could conjure up off the top of my head that I knew of. I mean, I know there are plenty other methods out there, but those are the few I wanted to demonstrate. And my favorite being glycer method. Um, <clears throat> produces a beautiful clear solution. Uh, it's a little bit, wee bit more viscous than water-based soaps. Uh, it, it comes to trace better. It's, just, it's a whole lot of different benefits that I think it, it's worth the extra cost of purchasing the glycerin for. Um, but we're going to use that. Um, this is a, a coconut oil based soap. I used uh, just coconut oil to, to make this one. It's, it's a simple oil to work with. And I had plenty of it on hand. Plus I needed to make laundry detergent so I figured I'd just be consistent and use coconut oil for all, for all the batches. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead, weigh everything out. I've got my double boil over here to heat everything up and melt it and, and whatnot. Got my pH meter right here. I already calibrated it. So hopefully uh, this will still turn out the way it always does. I mean, hopefully no goofs. Honestly, I don't think there will be any goofs. I've done this many times and never had an issue. So here we go. Alright, here we go. Uh, starting pH is 9.78. Don't know if you can see it. Hold on, I'll go ahead and hit the hold button. And I can take it out. There we go. go. 9.78. And go ahead, rinse this off real quick. The pH is um 
8.36 and it's still going down. 3.3. It seems like I'm hooking on the edge here. There we go. Let that hang out there. 2.7, 2.6, 2, 2.5. It is still going down, down, down. 2.4. 2.3. 2.4. Two, two. How much of that did I even use? Excuse me while I go uh, double check. I used half an ounce. They measured out an ounce, I only used half. So I'm going to adjust my notes to reflect half ounce used. And the pH is uh, 8.12. Mm, should I continue? I think I'm going to continue. I'm going to add just another quarter of an ounce of this. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and measure out another quarter ounce of the Lorik. And let me present that. I hope you can see it. I'm doing the best to kind of move it around a little bit depending on how the light hits it. Anyways. Oh, wait, you know what? I am completely forgetting. Why don't I go ahead and do a hand wash test while I'm at it? Just so you guys can kind of see how that looks too. still bubbling and it's still cleaning and mm -hmm. wow There you go. There you have it.
That's how you lower the pH in your soap, in your liquid soap. It's literally like working with any other additive uh, in soap making. Um, when you work on your, your calculators, whatever uh, calc you decide to use, please, 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 please do not include this in your, your soap cal calculations or whatever calculator you choose to use. This is to be treated like any other additive in soap making, meaning it's by itself. It does not get included in your calculations. Otherwise, it's not going to work. It's just going to turn into soap, which defeats the purpose of you know, lowering the pH. Um, trying to make sure I have everything covered. I guess we'll go, step, go over step by step again. So essentially, you just heat up your soap, you dissolve your lauric acid or your stearic acid in your soap so it can melt, and you stir and you can take your pH. Make sure you have a meter. That way you have, you know, the absolute uncertain accurate result. And have fun with it. Every recipe is different, so the amounts are required are going to be different for each one as well. So, wow, I do have it written down as to what I need for this particular batch of soap, and I'll hold on to it for next time. Uh, this may not apply to any other batches. I'm going to swing this back around. Ah, huzzah. Back to my workspace. So it went from this to this. I'm quite certain that if I, like I said, if I take some alcohol to it to kill the bubbles, because that's, that's foam, then it would definitely work out pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and melt this back down. I'm gonna add the rest of this. I'm gonna just go ahead and finish it off because I don't like coconut oil soap. That stuff's too drying. So, go ahead and play with this. Y'all have fun.